Hi, I'm Jim McFarlane with Portland Ring Electronics, Sales Service and Technical Coordinator. And today we're going to be talking about battery switches and why you would select different switches for your boat. The most common style of switch on the market has been in use for years and despite the appearance of this one, the general function is that we have an off position, a battery one, a battery two, and an all combined. And the issue with these, they've been in use for many years, they have three terminals on the back, is that no matter which switch position that you choose, everything in the boat is being run off either battery one or battery two. Why is that a problem? In, an old, in the old days, and when we have boats that don't have electronics on them, not so much of a problem. These days we've got a lot of electronics and they are sensitive to voltage spikes and voltage surges. So when we have everything connected to a single battery and we crank over the main engine, in a lot of cases the fish finder or other electronics will shut down. The idea is to make that stop happening and give us reserve power um, for the main engine. The other issue that takes place here is that when you're switched to battery one and you've got your downriggers hooked to battery two, you can be running your engine but not charging this battery. So you have the, the idea to, or the possibility to, discharge both batteries completely while you're out in the field and end up not being able to start your boat. We, on a regular basis here at Portland Marine Electronics, remove this style switch and replace it with this style switch. This style switch has three positions, off, on, and emergency. On the back of it, there are four terminals. We would connect the E for engine battery to one. We'd connect the main engine to the bottom terminal. The H is for the house battery. That would connect to two, and everything else on the boat would run from this terminal, except the auto bilge or devices that require constant battery power. So the idea is when you get in the boat, you turn the switch from off to on, it connects simultaneously the engine battery to the engine, the house battery to everything else on the boat, including the kicker motor. But there's isolation between the two so that these batteries are on separate circuits. What we accomplish then is to make sure that the engine battery is always fully charged and ready to start the main engine, no matter what we do on the house side or how long we've been sitting anchored up with the lights and the stereo and your other accessories running. This box will sense a charge from either the kicker engine or the main engine and go to a combined condition that will share that charge amongst both batteries. So we no longer have to be concerned with, did I switch my switch to all to charge both the batteries? And we end up not having to worry about that. This will combine at 13 volts or above. It will disconnect at 12.9 volts to ensure the isolation of the two circuits and maintain a full charge on the engine battery at all times. We also run what we call starting isolation to your starter and that connects to the center terminal on the ACR. Starting isolation's job is that when this is combined because you have been running your main engine and you shut your main engine off, say to clear some debris from your jet pump intake, you immediately are going to restart when you do that and these batteries are combined, we can still expose the electronics on the house battery to the drop in voltage under cranking and the subsequent spike in voltage once the alternator kicks on and the engine is running. The starting isolation wire connects to the start position and it is fused and runs to this box to turn the voltage off of combine so that the house battery and the electronics are isolated from the voltage drop and subsequent spike under cranking conditions. In addition, we have the ability to connect a remote LED so that you can see this light, which is an indicator of a fault condition if it's blinking or a combined condition to show that you are tied together. This is a very worry-free way to make sure that you've always got power in reserve. All you have to remember for your switch, you get in the boat, you turn it on, you get out of the boat, you turn it off. That's it. I'm Jim with Portland Ring Electronics. Please feel free to give us a call if you have any questions or concerns about your battery system. If you'd like to update your system to something that's a little bit more current, we certainly can help you with that as well as making sure you have proper circuit protection in all the right places. 12125 Southeast Highway 212 in Clackamas, 503-922-3259.